Hey YouTube, someone asked a question about um, how fear uh, can jeopardize um, a new relationship. Fear is a funny thing. Fear can actually help you or it can hinder you. Um, fear can help you in the aspect of being fearful you might burn yourself on a stove because you've done it before. Okay, that's where fear is helpful. Um, has something to do with your brain and the amygdala, but I won't go into that. Um, fear can hinder you by, um, well, here's, a, here's an abbreviation or acronym that I had heard. F-E-A-R, false evidence appearing real. This is how fear can hinder you. It can hinder you in that you are taking something from your past and you are actually associating it with the person in your present. That's not fair. That's not fair to the person that's in your present and that's not fair to you. It's not fair to the person in your present because you're not giving them a fighting chance. You're not really even getting to know them and you're not allowing them to get to know you. It's not uh, fair to you because you, you're not allowing yourself to enjoy the now. Um, you may want to take um, a look at Hmm, I don't know, a B. Scott video that talked about being happy in the moment. <laughs> Be happy in the moment. Don't allow the fear to overtake you and prevent you from actually getting to know someone who could be pivotal in your, in your uh, life or someone who God could have strategically placed in your life for a specific person, uh, purpose or reason. Fear is just, fear is a funny thing. It can help or it can hinder. And it's really a matter of one of those things where you really have to be, my goodness, you almost have to be prayerful and trying to discern why the fear exists. Does the fear exist because of past hurt and pain? Does the fear exist because there is an, an, a warning there telling you not to engage with this particular individual? I know I'm probably not even helping the situation <laughs> now that I think about it. However, you really have to uh, really do a self-examination of what that fear is inside you. Especially when the person that you're speaking of hasn't displayed any type of behavior that would cause you to be fearful. Uh, did they almost backslap you? Did they almost, you know, did they curse at you? Did they say a you know, snide comment or anything? If they haven't said anything, if they haven't displayed any actions to make you feel, feel fearful, then you have to then examine why is this fear coming and radiating out of you. A lot of times if it's radiating out of you, it really is um, a, a telltale sign that there is something in you that has not been totally healed. Believe me, I have been through this. This just doesn't happen with personal relationships. It happens with professional relationships. It happens with spiritual relationships. I, I know I've been there and it's horrible. It is absolutely horrible. The relationship goes nowhere, especially if it's a relationship where you have to have with someone and you just keep bumping heads over and over and over and over again. Been there, done that, could write a book on it. So you've got to examine this false evidence appearing real within yourself and see if it's valid. And if it's valid fear, then deal with the fear. Is the fear in, is still in existence in your life? Or is the fear someone who walked out 10 years ago? You got to examine that and then take the appropriate action. So that's my take on it. False evidence appearing real. Peace.